everybody. How are you doing? This is Mrs. Wilder, and we're going to have our rhythm um, lesson now. And I want you to know how proud I am of everything that you're doing with rhythm, with the staff, and with the notes, and the rest, and clapping our rhythms, and making rhythms. You've been doing such a fantastic job, and I'm so proud of you. So here we have the staff. And so this whole thing is called the staff. This is the treble clef. Let's add these words to our musical vocabulary, okay? And these are the five lines. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five lines. And these are the four spaces. One, two, three, four. And these, this is the way, remember the lines. Every girl bats double fastballs. Or every good boy does fine. But it's always the same letters. E, G, B, D, and F. And this spells the word face, F-A-C-E. It's always the same. So if, um, and then these are line notes and these are space notes. So what note was it? Would this be a line note or a space note? A line note, very good. What would this one be? A space note, very good. What would this one be? A space note, because it's right in the middle. The line notes, you can tell the line notes because the line goes through the middle. See how the middle, the line goes through the middle of all these five ones? See how there's no line here for the space notes? It's in the space in between the lines. So that's why we call them the lines and the space notes. Is this a line or a space note? It's a line note. Very good. What about this one, this letter E? Is this a line or space note? It's a space note. And this one down here, this E, is a line note. This is a space note, and this is a line note. See the difference? No line in the middle and line in the middle. What about this one right here, this G right here? Is this a line or space note? It's a line note. Very good. What about this B right here? Is this a line or space note? It's a line note. What about this A right here? Notice there's no line in the middle, so if it's not, so if there's no line in the middle, it's a space note. Very good. What about this one here? A space note. Good job. So here we have our staff. The five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and the four spaces, one, two, three, four. And here we have the treble clef. And is this a line or space note? It's a space note. What about this one? Remember, if the line's going through the middle of the note, I had the circle part, then it's a line note. You're right, it's a line note. What about this one? A line note. What about this one? It's a space note. What about this one? It's a space note. See how there's no line going through the middle of the note head right there? It's a space note. What about this one? A line note. This one? Line note. And this one? Space note. What about this one? What letter name would it be? I know we know that all of these are quarter notes, but what letter name would this one be? Think of the word, think that this first, think of is a line or space note. Second, think which phrase do you use? Every girl bats, double fastballs, or F A C E. And then think what letter name, how it occurs in the phrase. So first, is this a line or space note? It's a space note. So you know it's the first letter in the word face. So it's the F. What about this one here? This is a line note. You're right. It's one, two, three. It's the third letter in every girl bats, or the third word. So bat starts with a B. So you're right. That's a B note. What about this one here? You know the line, it's a line note first. You got to figure that out. And now you need to know one, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth line. And you know that every girl bats double fastball. It starts with an F. So you're right, it's an F note. What about this one here? Is this a line or space note? It's a space note because there's no line in the middle. Let's count the spaces. One, two, three, four. How do we spell the word face? F, A, C, and it's an E note. Very good. What about this note right here? See how there's no line in the middle? So it's a space note. Good job. Let's spell the word face, F-A-C-E. So it's the second letter in face, F-A, so it's an A note. What about this one here? Oh, it's the first letter for every girl bats double fast buzz. But you said, wait a minute. This was an E here, but this is an E space note. This is an E line note. Very good. What about this one here? Every good boy does fine. Every good. G starts good. Is this a line or space note? It's a space note. Let's spell the word face. F-A-C. This is a C note. Good job with that. Great job. Don't forget that the quarter note equals one count. Show me with your fingers, just like we do in our Zoom meetings. The half note equals two counts. The quarter rest equals one count. And to make the quarter rest, it's like a backwards E. And to make a pair of eighth notes, you connect them on the top with with this beam, with this bar.
and the pair of eight notes gets one count each. And this is how you would make one measure of music with four quarter notes. First thing you always need is to have the time signature four over four, four quarter notes, write the counting underneath. So that helps you know if you use up to the four counts because you all oh, this, this top four here means four counts in a measure and the bottom four here means the quarter note gets one count. You always have to equal four counts in our measure. And then we have the double bar line at the end. So this is the time signature four over four, two half notes. You got one, two, three, four, not 12 and 34, but one, two counts and three, four, and then the double bar line at the end. And now we can clap this one. Please clap it and you can pause the video and then clap this one. I would pause the video. You're right, this is the first measure, this is the second measure, so we have the time signature first. First measure with four quarter notes, the bar line, second measure with four quarter notes, and then the double bar line. Make sure we're using that vocabulary. Great job with that. Don't forget, this one has eight notes in there. Two, four pairs of eighth notes, eight notes though, so you should clap eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can practice that. Why don't you do that? Ready, here, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can say one and two and three and four and my kindergartners especially, we need to continue to work on this one. You've been doing really great with our quarter notes, but make sure you clap, 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 clap. See how there's eight X's there? I mean, you need to clap eight times. Say one and two and three and four and. Let's start from the beginning. Here we always start with the time signature. We have our four quarter notes, so let's clap those. Here we go. One, two, here we go, and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Even when I say the and, these are the ands, the and notes, you gotta clap on the and note too, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Good job. Good job, kindergartners. You're getting that. You're doing a great job. Okay, moving on. So here we have, we always start with the time signature, and these are our two rest notes. So you have hands to the side, hands to the side, then you clap, clap, shoulder and down, shoulder and down, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then you have the double bar line at the end, the bar line here, the time signature here. So for my kids who are struggling a little bit, it looks like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you can go one, two, three, four, down the same arm if you want to, or you can go one down one arm and down the other arm. Now you try it by yourself. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good job. Now I would, I'm going to hold this up. Now you pause it. And then you clap the rhythm, okay? I'm going to flip it over. You pause it, and you clap the rhythm. Okay, good job. Now, I also introduced the whole note to some of my kids this week. So here we have, let me see if I can see it, okay? This is the whole note. It's just a circle. And this equals the whole note, and it gets four counts. And here, I'm sorry, it's a little harder to see. This is the half rest. It gets two counts. Show me with their finger, fingers. This is the whole rest. Show me with your fingers. It gets four counts. So this is the half rest. So it goes one, two. So you held your hands to the side for one, two. And then you clap and you clap on the quarter notes like we usually do. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. And you can have your hands move down like this if you want to. Or you can keep them just at your side and say one, two, three, four. I like to do the movement. Some of my older kids, they came up with that idea of having the movement. And I like that idea. I think that looks really nice. And it works really well. And this is the whole rest. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and one. If you want to have a little bit of a challenge, look at this one, pause it, and then work on it. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, pause it, and then work on it. And then we have this one. We have this one. Pause it, and then work on it. Let's do a quick little review of FACE and Every Girl Bats Double Fastballs and FACE, F-A-C-E. So tell me if these are line or space notes. 
Line note, very good. Space, line, space, good job. What's this one? Line, space, line, good job. Space, and what's this one? It's a line note. What are these ones? These are all, are these all space notes or line notes? They're line notes. What about these ones? Are these all space or line notes? They are space notes. Good job. Tell me what this one is. Is this a line or space note? Space. What about this one? Space. Good job. What about this one? Line. What about this one? Space note. What about this one? Line note. Good job. What about this one? Line note. Good job. You're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of all of you. Have a wonderful day.